Test, 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 test. Ron Real today. I wasn't going to share this with all of you. This was just gut reaction in the moment, five minutes after the formidable 50K. Remember, I cut it out of the vlog right after the race. And I decided, you know what, I've always been emphasizing and trying to share, you know, transparency, being raw and real on this channel. Remember, a documenter, not a creator, okay? So I did need a couple days to think about it, but this is, this is me and true love, just hashing it out, kind of in the raw and in the moment after just running a hard 31 miles. And it just kind of shares with you a little more of my mindset and my hopes, my dreams, and the clarity. I'll just say, I, I, now, uh, it might have been an overreaction, okay? It's about a five-minute clip. You're about to watch it. And actually, question of the day, um, do you consider yourself to be um, raw and real or an open book or the ability to express your emotions to anybody, not on camera, and I'm not saying it's the best place to do it here on YouTube, but you're about to see it. But like, where are you at in that whole notion as a runner, as a person, okay? So it's raw and real, and I think it's gonna, I think you're gonna be a little surprised by some things I say, but I just wanna share it because that's what we do on this channel. That's what we do down in the comments. That's what um, uh, we've been, yeah, it's just, uh, I just, I just love, what we've got going on here on this channel, especially down in the comments. Like you guys, all the comments on the race vlog, you're amazing. And we're in this together. We're not giving up. And we have good, good times and bad times, but no matter what, we keep going forward. Okay, I'm just gonna roll it. Zero editing, zero cuts, zero B-roll. This is just raw and real, me and true love talking right after the formidable 50K. Gotta make the phone call. You gotta make the phone call. Come on now. Oh man. Doozy. Doozy. Oh my gosh, babe, I love you so much. I love you so much. How's it? How you doing? How are you feeling? Oh, it, it's, I mean, a lot of pain. Oh, oh gosh, man. Love... Let's just say I'm glad it's over. Oh, thanks. Good to go. <laughs> yeah. But, Honey. you know, lots to, uh, a lot of good lessons today, that's for sure. I can't wait to uh, share them with you, but you know, hey, at the end of the day, I went for it, didn't didn't work out, and uh, that's okay, you know? That's okay. That's okay. Honey, I was telling the girls this morning at breakfast how you're, you had such a good attitude of like enjoying the process. Like, it wasn't about this moment. It was about the last 18 weeks and all the beauty you saw and all the well it's coming back from an injury you know it's like yeah that's like a victory that's one. that's a good victory so oh man hon i i am i am to the moon actually about what happened today and i uh, I, I won't tell you why now okay okay well i could tell you and i might just cut okay. it out cut it out of the vlog I'm, okay i'm not i'm not an ultra runner i okay. am i am not an ultra runner no, no, okay. I, I can't even tell you how much relief that gives me. Um, Wonderful. And it's like, it's like so clear. I mean, I, I was crushing okay. to mile 20 right, and I just can't even tell you like, I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. That's so, babe, that's so brilliant because it's like, narrow we now we know we know we want road we don't want ultra it's like narrowing in and exactly where we're meant to be so crazy like i i do want some roads i am a fast little son of a gun but yeah you are a fast little I, son of a gun i want um you know i'm good at like you know the you know pike speak is 25 and that's like that's definitely like that's my limit and right. um even like the short stuff in wyoming that's like seven miles and uh I just, hun, yeah. I can't even tell you. Oh, I'm done. It's exciting. It's, yeah. It really, uh, like, I did everything I could in the training block. I hydrated. I, I ate well. I did everything. I got stronger in the gym. And, like, I'm just not built. And if you look at it, it's so funny. Like, you look, I'm like a chicken out there compared to these guys. It's so oh funny. Oh, my gosh. Even the women, like, they run by me and, like, they've got, like, monstrous legs. And they're just Whoa. like, 
and I'm just like faster and quicker. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. It's almost like they have to be in the ultra running. Because, oh, exactly, exactly. Yeah, but they you can don't go. Have to. Like I have, not to mention I'm 37 years old, so I'm not like I'm the youngest out there. <laughs> so well, I. Um, right, right. Um, hon, anyway, I'm excited and I, it was obviously, it was unfortunate. I was in, you know, I was in like second place at like mile 17, but then just like the body just said, nope, nope, you're, you're, this is not for you. Um, and I'm glad it said it so clearly, like if it had been closed, we might have, we might have like, you know, gone back and forth for a while, but you made it so clear. Oh, hon. It means like less training. It means like less. It's like shorter, faster stuff. It's just so fun. It's it's just oh, yeah, fun. Yeah. Get excited. Get excited. Oh, and maybe it means we could race more because it's like boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah. Like, oh, and hun, I just want to go run New York City and stay in the Four Seasons with my true love. Yes. So okay, okay perfect. Okay. Perfect. Honey, this is exciting. I'm also, hun, I'm, I'm a businessman. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a professional runner, and uh, yeah, I know this is I'm, your sidekick. I'm excited to, um, you know, I'm excited to just like let's let's make this hat. Let, oh my gosh, the singlet was amazing. <gasps> it was the most comfortable, lightest, best singlet I've ever worn. Wow. Hands hands down, it was wow. amazing. So. Um, <laughs> This yeah. Is such good news. I know, I know. So, hon, I love you. Um, I'm gonna go get a few shots at the finish, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get me a, go get me a beer or something. Get, you, get some beer and some trouble fries. Hey, 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 yo. Thirty-two freaking miles, thirty-one miles. Honey, I'm so glad we did that. And I just love you. Okay, I sent you two messages through your Garmin watch. Did you send me enough? Oh, that's crazy. I don't. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I was like afraid it was gonna mess up like your time. So I didn't do it towards but just towards the very end. But yeah. Anyway. Oh no, we're good. I don't know if I got him. But anyway, did yeah, they yeah. so that guy that guy text you? Yes he did and I Brian, God bless him. I was so nice to just hear I know him. and that was such a good thing to say. Like I'm smiling, still smiling, but it's a hard day. Like God bless you, honey. You're such a gift. I love you so much. And, hon, I know, like, I worked hard for this and, like, it didn't work out, but I'm telling you, the oh. um, the amount of, hon, just the amount of clarity. Uh. Like, this is, like, you know, years of just clarity through. It just took, like, this one race and um, right. <gasps> to get the clarity. So. Uh, hon, I, I, I agree that you have worked so hard, but I know that every one of those moments is you get that you get that. whoa whoa oh my goodness a little a little like i said a little surprising there okay now it was a in the moment maybe a gut reaction that you you might not have expected to listen to today that i'm listen do i have dreams of running the leadville 100 yeah i do i do and you can't base your enti your entire future off of one race you know what i mean I'd, I'd love to run ultra, ultra marathons long term. I've, I've won, I have, I've flown the W at 150K in my life. It was a pretty competitive one, but it started at 9,000 feet and topped out at about 12,000 feet at uh, Copper Mountain. You know, I've taken third, no, I took fourth at another one here in Colorado. So I've had a little bit of success at the 50K distance, but I, you know, what am I talking about? Always finding your niche within the running world and but not being afraid to push yourself either so i'm sure i'm positive i will toe the line of an ultra marathon in the future okay i i i but it was a lot of good good clarity that came forth from that race and i'm excited for the future and you might just be seeing me toe the line of some shorter faster races moving forward that's all i'm saying and i'm not afraid to share it with all of you because we're a family that's what we do here in dgr that's what we do on all the social media sites that's what we do in the comments no matter what anybody says on the interwebs we're stronger together okay so i'm gonna keep going comment of the day thanks for being so supportive of the channel there you go uh let me just get his name on it was from d no no not d where was it where was it hold on dan dan thank you dan for the comment of the day okay i know that was a shocker i know i know but uh it's how we roll here 
DGR. All right, I'm going to stop. Good week ahead. Keep rolling. We will toss it to, um, I don't know, another, I'll try and find another, like, just raw, and raw, you know, just raw vlog right there, right there. All right, see beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.